my grade one. So back to learning at home we are. For the first part of the year, you couldn't see most of my face, and now you can't see any of me. Okay, uh, in math today, we're going to go back to something called number sense. And uh, we are going to be working with numbers from 1 to 100. And you really, really, really have to be able to find patterns. And I know that you are good at that. And that's a lot of what we're going to be doing today. So these are numbers from 20 to 30. So 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. And you should have been able to hear that there are two digits in each number. And you should be able to hear that the first one sounded the same and the second one you could hear was different. 21, 26. So you should be able to hear that 21 starts with a 20 is a 2, and 1 comes last, or a 24. You can hear the last digit in each of those numbers. It's a little bit backward when we do teens. You would think that 13, 13, 4, teen, you don't write it the way that you hear it. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. The teen numbers are backwards, almost like English, only it's not cuckoo bananas because now that I've told you, it always stays that way. In the 20s, <clears throat> you hear the digits in order. 21, 27, 28, 29. You hear the numbers in order, but in the for the teens, you hear the last digit first. 13, 14, 15, 16. But you do hear them both. There, you just hear them backward. So <clears throat> you should be able to that's Mrs. Chong texting me. Um, you should be able to see patterns. There are a bunch of patterns you can already see from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. If you look underneath, what pattern can you see with the second row? And there should be a couple patterns that you see. The first pattern I'm not going to tell you. I'm going to see if you can notice with the next row. Because there are some more patterns you should be able to see. One of the patterns is the counting order. One, two, three, four, five, six. And the last digit goes one, two, three, four, five, six. So it's the counting order is the same, but there are also different kinds of patterns. If you look, here's a two, here's a two, here's a two. They all end with two, just like these all end with six, and these all end with nine, and these all end with zero. That's true for all of them. The last digit when we go down stays the same. There's another pattern. When you look across the first digit, there's Mrs. Chong again, always stays the same. One, 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 until we get to the last one. What comes after one? Two. Then it's two, 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 till we get to three. Can you guess what the next row would all start with? It's not there. So tell me. The next row would start with three. What's the next digit? 
Well, you can do it a couple ways. You can count what comes after 30. If you don't know, look at the pattern. Here's a pattern. This ends with a one. This number ends with a one. This number ends with a one. This number ends with a one. 31. 32. 33. 34. 35. 36. Oops, Miss J. 36. 37. 38. 39. 40. Too much space. So you should be able to see some of the patterns again. The last digit. These all end with six. The first digit. These all start with three. Here's another pattern. Just like the last digit, they, they, it's like counting. They go up by one. One, two, three, four. The first digit counts by one when you go down. One, two, three. What would be next? First digit would be a four. Then the first digit would be a five. And then the first digit would be a six. And then a seven. And then an eight. Sorry, I'm not very good at making numbers with my finger on my trackpad. A nine. Same thing with over here. First digit is a one, then a two, then a three, then a four, then a five, then a six, then a seven, then an eight, then a nine, and then a ten. We can figure out the whole way by looking at the patterns. The last digit is a zero, 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 zero. So there's all kinds of patterns that you have to be able to find. So if you did it, you could figure out where to put these numbers just by looking at patterns. Or you should know how to count. You could count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. You could do it that way. Or you could go 76. I could find it in a whole bunch of ways. I could go, hmm. Which of the rows starts with seven? This row starts with seven. Or I could go, which of the columns ends with six? Oh, this one ends with six. So you could go, does it, it starts with seven and it ends with six. I could go, which row starts with three? This row starts with three. Or I could go, which column ends with two? This ends with two. And if, you know, you were at school, I wouldn't be doing any of this. I would be, I would be picking you. Actually, I'd probably be picking Asher because it's Asher's turn to be star of the week. Hey, Asher, where does 83 go? What in the column that ends with threes? Okie dokie. Or did you mean the row that starts with eights? Because both of them would be right. 70 ends with a zero just like these guys do, 99. Ends with a nine, starts with a nine. Starts with a nine, ends with a nine. And 37. So in this one, I've mixed up some of the numbers. So how could you mix it up? You find out where the patterns don't fit anymore. So these are all supposed to end with a, a one. Oh, but this one doesn't. That one starts with a five and ends with a five. Starts with a five and, oh, this guy's in the wrong spot. That's where they go. Can you find any other mixed up ones? You could look at a row to see if they all start with the same number. Do these all start with six? 
Do they? Do they? No. I've mixed up more. Let me see if you can find it. I'm not going to show you. All right, I'm going to point to a number. I want you to say it out loud. When you say the number, you have to say the first number you see and then the last number. So this is not 25. It's 25. 72. 49. 87. It's like you say the first number with a T behind it. Only not for the two because that makes it sound funny. 2D1. 21. 3D31. 4T1. That one works. 5T1. 50. 51. It's close. 61. 71. 81. 91. So it's because we speak so fast, we've changed to, to 21, 31, 31, 41. So you should be able to hear it. When I say 54, you should be able to hear that 50 sounds like a 5, 54. Or if I say 82, you should be able to hear 82, 99, that's easy, 99, I forgot to tell you that you should really have a piece of paper handy. You should really have a piece of paper handy. So you can always pause the video, get some paper and a pencil, because I'm going to say the number and you're going to write it. This is 24. Write 24. 24. Then write 26. 26. Oh, that's terrible, Miss J. I hope you're doing better than me. 28. 28. 21. 21. 25. 25. All right, more. 33. 33, you should be able to hear 30, sounds kind of like a 3, so 34, 34, 35, 36, 37, 35, 36, 37. All right, 41, 42, 43, 44. Ready? Starting at 41, 42, 43, 44. Guess what the next ones are going to be? Not 50s, 80s, haha. Ha. Write 85, 85, 86, 86, 87, 87, 88, 88, 89, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, page 163 and 164. On the first page, 
you have to shade in the numbers as you count them so you can color them in 20 to 29 so you color them in as you say them 20 21 22 23 etc here you have to color from 30 to 39 30 31 you have to count them 40 to 49 50 to 59 on the next page they give you this at the top to help you and you can fill in the blanks it's just counting 61 62 they give you the 60 63 64 65 66 they give you the 70s to help you but they don't give you the 80s or the 90s and here you have to do it all by yourself 54 55 56 57 58 59 and here you have to find the mistake if you can see the patterns you can see the mistakes circle the circle the number that is wrong and then if you are allowed to we have ABC app I've given your moms and dads the information of how to log into ABC app but I want you to go to grade one and then to the number section and then number chart helps you practice what we've been working on today turn the volume back on 100 number chart click one to try 10 numbers at a time or click two to try 100 numbers so this is much easier so if you want to you can start with that one but you have to do the one to 100 chart Help me place the numbers above where they belong in the chart. So the numbers are at the bottom. I have to put the four and the eight in the right spot. Four. Eight. Nineteen. Thirteen. Or... How do I get out? I can't get out. Yes, I can. So that's grade one. Numbers. And number chart was down here. This loads faster than it does at school. 100 number chart. Click one to try 10 numbers. So the hard one, <clears throat> they give you the whole chart at the same time. Help me place the numbers above where they belong in the chart. And if you can figure out the patterns, you can see where they go. So 91 starts with a nine, ends with a one. So we can go on the starts with a nine, ends with a one. 91. 62 goes in the starts with a six. 62. All the, all the 60s and it ends with a. Okay, that is Mrs. Chong really wondering why I'm not talking back to her. That is math for today. Have fun with it, grade one.